Because right now, like I said, the way that this fever team, when they play defense, and when you don't put Katie Lou in the game, why is Katie Lou back in the game? I don't want to see Katie Lou ever again. She contributes nothing. She contributes nothing. Yes, she got an offensive rebound. She got a block. She did those things. But that is nothing. She only got one of each. She's not scoring. And I could have sworn that they had her in the game to shoot three-pointers. She is garbage. Please, go sides. If you're trying to show us what lineup y'all going to use when the playoff starts, you are showing your hand, you're going to lose. Because when, you, when they, they already getting ready for y'all. They're getting ready for y'all to put somebody like Katie Lou in the damn game with Wallace. If you do that shit again, Coach Sides, I promise, I'm coming to find you. I'm coming to find you. I got people that's with me that say they ready to help me come and find you. We're going to get in the car. We're going to ride out there together. We're going to put you in a potato sack and put you in the backseat of the car. We're going to drive that car for bridge. And your what picture boy, Chocolati with the sexy body. Welcome to a new episode of Chocolati Plays. We are back with a reaction video. I've been having a couple of lives circulating out there. I've been doing lives, guys. I'm sorry, but we're going to get to a video today because I need this little bit of time I'm going to give y'all to focus on CC who is setting the damn bar so high for whoever the next rookie is, this shit's going to be almost impossible for him to do. With everything that she has broken in this short season, in her first season, she's damn near broke every rookie point guard record that you can get. Everyone that you can get. The only record she didn't get during this damn time was the damn all-star record. And she can still get that record because it's not a rookie record. It's one of, one of Sue Bird's last records that's sitting up there that she can get in the WNBA. Look, guys, I don't know. And I do. No, let me stop it. I know why they kept trying to make this a, 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 a race issue, because it truly was a race issue. It was. And it was with certain people, i.e. or one Cheryl Swoops. One Cheryl damn Swoops who made this a racial issue. Because there ain't no way in hell that you would have looked at anybody who was playing like Caitlin Clark was playing and she was black. And you look at Angel Reese and how she's playing and she was black. And you would say that Angel Reese is playing better than Caitlin Clark. There is no damn way in hell. With, with the amount of records that this woman has broken in her rookie season, with the amount of pressure that was on her in the beginning of this season, that same pressure wasn't on no damn Angel Reese. No, it wasn't. Y'all better stop it. The same treatment that Kaylin Clark was getting and still getting right now to this day, Angel Reese hasn't even sniffed nothing like that yet. What she was getting involved with was just a regular-ass play that was going on in the WNBA. Guys, the WNBA is rough. They are really physical. When they be talking about that crazy shit in their commercial, like, we're physical. And rough. Yeah, they really are. These damn women on there will hurt you. They will hurt you. But the shit that they was doing to Kaylin was extreme. It was a little bit extra. Especially with there being with that with her having 17% of the technical fouls that was drawn in the whole WNBA. And a large majority of all that came from the sky who was literally a, a targeting her. So this woman has done all these phenomenal things with a target on her back. Literally. That was headhunting. She did all these things. She dropped 35 points yesterday. She broke the single season record for scoring as a rookie, guys, as a rookie. Not to mention that she also broke the single season record for assist in the WNBA. What else was that even talk about, guys? Have y'all looked at her stats? Her stats were better than Asia's when Asia came in as a rookie. Her stats were better than Candace Parker's when Candace Parker was a rookie, rookie and she won the MVP and the rookie of the year. Look, guys, y'all, y'all, they was right. They was right. It was about race, but not in our eyes. I saw her as just another person that could play basketball. And when I heard that she could play like a man, like Steph Curry, because I don't want to watch women play basketball because I don't like the, the product. The product was trash. Now it looks a whole lot better. I'm sorry that I wasn't looking when Asia and then was just starting to cook. I'm sorry I wasn't, but guys, I'm looking now. So I appreciate that. And y'all need to start talking about this girl in consideration to being up there with the, the talents of Asia. She's light years ahead of any other rookie that's in the class. Who's next in line to her? You better not say Angel, because Rakia's better than her. Hell, that girl with the colorful hair. 
She's better than Angel Reese, the one that played for the Mystic. That rookie. I think Cameron Brink would have been better than Angel Reese. I believe Cardoso, if she didn't get hurt, you wouldn't hear nothing about Angel Reese at all. Not like how you hear. You wouldn't hear that shit. Also, if Angel Reese was on some other team, they were literally getting out of the way so she could get rebounds. That They were doing that shit on purpose. Y'all saw it with your own eyes that kept her in the game just so she could get a few more points to get another double-double. It's always been that. What you see from Kayla Clark is effortless. Effortless. And I pray that it translates over into the playoffs because Kayla wasn't a problem. Coach Size was always a damn problem. She was the problem. And she couldn't get her troops in line. When you can't get your troops in line to follow orders or, oh, no, no. She got her troops in line to follow her orders, which were, hey, we going to ice out Caden. We ain't going to give Caden the ball. She's not the primary ball handler. But then all that changed. So now everybody's falling in line. But Kate, but Christy Sides keeps going back to her old tendencies. Y'all saw that. Y'all saw that in this Wings game. They not closing out on these perimeter shooters, but they did a damn great job against the Aces. In that last game on Friday, they lost, but they lost by four. You mean to tell me that this Wings team is better than the Aces? No. Y'all stopped playing defense, and y'all just wanted to go score a lot of points. That's exactly what y'all did when I watched y'all play in, in live, when I watched y'all play in Dallas. Y'all were just matching point for point, point for point. Y'all, No. You mean to tell me Enrique's better than all these other point guards that y'all win against? She's better than Jewel Lloyd? She's better than Ke Ke uh, Kelsey Plum? She's better than Jackie Young? She's better than Chelsea Gray? Y'all can't stop her because y'all stopped them? You just want to go back and forth with them. You try to put on a show. I hope that's what y'all was doing. Because I hope the defense is a lot better than that shit I saw out there in that game. Because the Wings are 9 and 30. They're 9 and 30. And y'all put on that show against that team. And the playoff starts in a couple of more days, what, like 10 days? I need better effort. I need a better performance. Yes, CC, you've been out there wrecking. You did, you did excellent this season. And I think you my MVP. You my MVP. But outside of that, it's time to get ready. Because the Aces are the only team that y'all did not beat in the regular season. Wouldn't it be cool if, the, if somehow, some way, the Fever played the Aces in the finals? That would be ridiculous. I, I would love to see that happen. But in order for that to happen, I think they would have to get into like, uh, what, last seed, eight seed? I don't know how it would work. But if it could work, I'd like to see it. Even if they play each other in the playoffs, I'd like to see it. Because right now, like I said, the way that this fever team, when they play defense, and when you don't put Katie Lou in the game, why is Katie Lou back in the game? I don't want to see Katie Lou ever again. She contributes nothing. She contributes nothing. Yes, she got an offensive rebound. She got a block. She did those things. But that is nothing. She only got one of each. She's not scoring. And I could have sworn that they had her in the game to shoot three-pointers. She is garbage. Please, go sides. If you're trying to show us what lineup y'all going to use when the playoff starts, you are showing your hand, you're going to lose. Because when, it, when they, they already getting ready for y'all. They're getting ready for y'all to put somebody like Katie Lou in a damn game with Wallace. If you do that shit again, go sides, I promise, I'm coming to find you. I'm coming to find you. I got people that's with me that say they ready to help me come and find you. We're going to get in the car. We're going to ride out there together. We're going to put you in a potato sack and put you in the backseat of the car. We're going to drive that car for bridge. Because we're tired of you, Coach Sides. It's all you. How the hell Kaylin go out there and had this phenomenal game like this? Her and Mitchell combined for 65 points. 65 damn points. Amazing. Bravo, guys. Bravo. Bravo to those ladies. They did an excellent job and they won 20 games, guys. Let's, let's keep this energy. Let's keep this energy going throughout the, this next game. Y'all got to use the Mystic going into the playoffs itself because the Mystics, this is a great matchup for y'all right now. This is a great tune-up game for y'all to be just chilling for the rest of, the, uh, uh, rest of this time until the playoffs start because the Mystic are hungry and they got the AC right now. And they're trying to hold on to it, so they got to win. Trust me, they're going to come in there and want to play. They're going to come in there and want to play. So you want to either do this, Coach Sides, if it doesn't hurt you guys, if it doesn't move y'all positioning. Because I, I, I like y'all in six seed because y'all play against the Suns. right? I like y'all in six seed. So stay there. But if you fall out and you got to play against the Aces or, or Minnesota in the first, oh, my goodness, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. But, guys, that's my time. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate, appreciate, appreciate y'all, you guys. Look, man, if you are new to the channel, 
and you haven't hit that subscribe button or you been with the channel already, you haven't hit that subscribe button, but you're waiting on, hit it. Hit that subscribe button to become a part of Chocolaty Crew. Hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you know when you're part of videos and live streams. I'm going to do a live stream after I do this video. I just wanted to get something out there for y'all so when y'all go to my page, you look at me like, Chocolaty ain't dropped other in 10 days, but I actually do videos and live a lot now. So I'm going to make sure I keep getting these videos out to y'all because I know some of y'all just want to get this quick hot take. Right. And the quick hot take is that Caitlin Clark is the best damn WNBA rookie I've ever seen in my life, in my life. And that's that's crazy because there have been so many before her. Amazing. Right. Amazing. You guys take care. I thank you all for rocking with me. Peace. Thank you.